Today, I want to answer a very specific question about runner's knee. How long should you be taking off running to recover from runner's knee? Now, of course, that really is a question which varies from person to person. And there's a couple of major variables at play here. There are a couple of major things to take into account. Firstly, the severity of your knee pain. And secondly, the irritability of your knee pain. What do I mean by that? Well, from a severity point of view, we're really talking about, as it sounds, how severe it is. How much pain are you in? How much is it affecting you? If you're high severity, high pain, then we're talking about pain which isn't just, once it's been stirred up, going to affect your running. You're going to feel it when you're walking around, you're going up and down stairs. Maybe even if you've been sitting down for a while and you go to get up, that pain will be right there. And there'll be high levels of pain. We're talking kind of six, seven, eight out of 10 levels of pain. Now, irritability, well, that is more about how easily aggravated that pain is and how quickly it subsides once aggravated. So if you've got a knee which it's a bit painful once you hit around about the eight to 10 mile mark, it's fine if you do shorter runs or if you don't run back to back, then it's not too irritable. And equally, if it becomes, again, easily only after the next day or so pain-free rather than hanging around for a few days, then again, not too irritable. But if you've got a knee which as soon as you start running, you start to feel the pain, and once it's been provoked, it hangs around for a few days into you know, the rest of the week, then that's where we're looking at that being kind of high irritability. And it's that combination of high severity, high irritability is the kind of worst case scenario. And in those situations, that's where it's not unusual to see people needing to take four to six weeks off running to focus on rehab and getting treatment for their knee to be in a position where they can then gradually reintroduce running into their program. Now, of course, that's worst case scenario. Much better case scenario is where you've got low levels of severity. So we're talking maybe one, two, three out of 10 pain and low irritability. So again, as long as you don't run back to back days or as long as you keep the run short, then it doesn't really flare the knee up. Then those cases could be managed with maybe not even shutting your running down entirely. Maybe you just focus on load management and you just half your training load for a few weeks. Okay, if half isn't enough, just again, half again. So take it down to 25% training load. So you can still run, but you're allowing that knee a lower load environment so that you can allow it to heal whilst also doing your rehab exercises and getting treatment from your physio. Now, of course, everyone is different. It might be that still maintaining that short little bit of running, that lower volume amount of running, is still irritating the knee on a low level enough just to keep it there and not allow it to heal properly. In which case, taking an easy week and turning that into just a week off your running to focus on rehab, and if the, after a week it doesn't feel like it's quite right, you might need another week off running, that may be a a kind of a middle ground, if you like, between keeping running and having that full four to six week shutdown. Okay, again, if you're not sure, speak to your physio, get advice. But severity and irritability are the two main things here. Now, the question is, are you going to make it worse if you keep on running through your pain? Well, the good news is that in most cases, the worst case is that you, by keeping on running, is you're just pushing back the time frame before you're pain free. Okay, you're just making it last longer and longer and longer and longer, and you're not getting better. That is if we're kind of in a position where it's talking about pain being about three out of 10, and it's not getting worse over time. Okay, so if your pain is between zero and three out of 10, you can keep on running, but just know that it may be that you're probably not gonna to get to a point where it's completely pain-free anytime soon until you really take hold of this and prioritize your rehab. If, however, it starts getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And you were at a one out of 10, you were then a two out of 10, you were then a three out of 10, and you could have stopped running at that point. But then it becomes a four, five, six out of 10. You know that you need to just shut the running down and focus on the rehab. And on that note, it's really important that you do really look after those needs by focusing on the strengthening work to support healthy knees. So we're talking, yes, about strengthening around the knee, so areas like your quadriceps, your hamstrings, but also up around the hip. Lots of glute work, lots of ankle stability work as well, because the knee is stuck between two very mobile complexes, the ankle down here and the hip up here. Providing stability around these two means the knee can live 
in a happy environment. Now, there are lots of great strength exercises to help build stronger knees that you might want to check out. In fact, there's a video right over here, which I'd suggest heading over to next, which shows you 18 exercises which will work perfectly to start building strength around those knees. So go check that out, and I'll see you right over there.